zip line has become a lifeline for a Corlitas community. Yippee-ki-yay-a. <laughs> Daryl Hardy set up the line New Year's weekend when he thought the bridge connecting his community to the main road might go out. When KSBW was talking about all the weather that was coming in, <laughs> I said, oh, oh, yeah, that bridge is not looking good. So I went ahead and just set up that zip line. And he's happy he did. By last weekend, the bridge crossing Corlitos Creek had washed away. Cutting off Grizzly Flat Road from Eureka Canyon Road, leaving seven households stranded were it not for the zip line. Well, you live in the woods, you know, you just kind of got to be prepared. We're a resilient group up here. We do have uh, seven households up here. Uh, some are in their 80s, 70s, 60s, as we are. And then we have them as young as three years old up here as well. While the Grizzly Flat community is in unincorporated Santa Cruz County, the bridge across Corlitos Creek was owned by the city of Watsonville. Engineers with the city of Watsonville were out to look at the bridge earlier this week. They say they can't do anything in terms of repairing it until water levels go down. At best, that's going to happen later this week when the storms clear out. Leaving Hardy and his neighbors unsure how long they'll need to use a zip line equipped with a basket to ferry across supplies. It's kind of scary because, you know, people live on propane and need gas for generators. The whole area of Eureka Canyon has been without power for most of 2023. And even once Grizzly Flats residents get to the main road, it's no easy drive out with down trees and power lines. We're lucky because we have gravity flow water, but when people need the electricity to even get water to their house, you know, starts getting kind of ugly. <laughs> but for now, Hardy and his wife Stacy Cooper say they're grateful for the zip line. They can still get to work and they've used the line to bring in medicine, food and fuel to their neighbors. Fortunately, the propane companies came up and topped them off before all this happened. So just hoping that uh, we can get a bridge before uh, everybody runs out of that. <laughs> Or we'll be using a lot of small tanks, which means a lot of work to me.